Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Not too long ago, I did a video on the much-anticipated Canon 7D Mark III. Now, obviously, this hasn't been announced yet. It's not out. Um, but we were discussing what the specs would be, what specs it would need to be successful. And we've had some great viewer feedback. One of the key things that viewers seem to uh, want or demand from this camera, from the 7D III, is the lack of an AA filter. In other words, they want to make sure that Canon does not put an AA filter in, similar to what Nikon and other manufacturers are doing because they say that that will be a deal killer for them when it comes to the 7D III. We've got Kevin Diaz. He says the D500 and even the 7D Mark II are both very popular wildlife systems. In its heyday, the 7D Mark II was one of the go-to cameras for wildlife and even sports. Thanks to its improved ISO noise performance at higher ISOs, this was the advantage of the dual processors. But the AA filter has become a liability on wildlife cameras, and the 7D still has one, while the D500 does not. If the 7D Mark III has one, then I think I would go to the Nikon for wildlife. Then we had uh, Ringwraith66 rating it. Uh, these are comments on the video. Uh, I photograph birds, and as such, all the 7D Mark III needs is the autofocus system of the 1DX Mark II and no AA filter. And don't take away any dials or buttons. Kevin Diaz uh, replied to Ringwraith and said, I think the AA filter is the make or break of the camera. He says, brackets, well, AF2, but Canon will probably only improve on the already great 7D2 AF system. The specs will be what they are and likely not compared to the all-rounders like the A7 III. And the spec haters will never understand why people would opt for a 7D or a D500 or something like the A7 III since they can only see the specs and not the practical real-world world use. So as such, cameras like the 7D just don't have a wide audience. They aren't meant to. They are there to keep the pros invested in either Canon or Nikon in a form of photography where they will spend more money on one lens than most will spend on their entire setup. But with the AA filter, the 7D III will be less appealing. It is literally the only spec I care to know about at this point in the game. Then we've got uh, Acid Tripwire uh, wrote in, one simple thing, no more bloody AA filters. That's an easy step that will make the 7D Mark III leap ahead. So it seems like we have a lot of consensus from viewers. Those were just some that I cherry-picked um, that the AA filter needs to go. The 7D Mark III to be successful, to be a decent seller in a small niche, needs to have no AA filter. Uh, and, you know, comparing it to the Nikon D500, uh, comparing it to, well, there's, there's other, lots of other cameras without AA filters now. So I can see why progressively that is something Canon would need to do. What do you guys think? Is the AA filter um, a big deal for you? Um, if For those of you that haven't replied, want to hear your opinion as well. I'd like to get more of a consensus on this. Uh, I hadn't, to be honest, really thought much about the AA filter or lack of AA filter uh, as to whether this would be a big thing for the 73. So when I was reading through the comments, it uh, was impressed upon me as I was like, wow, a lot of people are very uh, insistent upon this. That the 73 doesn't have an AA filter. And frankly, it makes sense. I mean, that's it's going to be a better performing camera if it doesn't. But what do you guys think? Let's discuss it. AA filter, 7D Mark III. Are you interested in the 7D Mark III? Would that be a deal killer if you were interested? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it some more. I'd like to hear what more of you have to say. Thanks for everybody that chimed in on this. And stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.